Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, you will learn three ways to install Bootstrap 5 in Laravel 8. First one, by adding Bootstrap 5 CDN. And second one, adding Bootstrap in public folder. Third one, we will be installing Bootstrap using the Laravel Mix. Okay, if you have not subscribed our channel yet, please do subscribe. And let's get started. Alright guys, here in the screen you can see I have already installed Laravel project and also I have added few code over here. I have created one view component and inside the view component I am implementing some design and this design is using the bootstrap classes like container, row, okay, margin, top, column and if you go back to the browser, here in the screen you can see this is the design we have implemented but uh, CSS is not implemented over here that's why the design is not looking good. If you inspect this if you click on this here you can see we have a container but container doesn't have any CSS classes right because we don't have set up the bootstrap so let's set up the bootstrap 5 using the bootstrap CDN for that let's open the new tab and search for the get bootstrap.com here you can see the download and under this here you can see the CDN here we have the two link available one is the bootstrap min.css and another is bootstrap bundle.min.js so copy this and let's get back to the code let's go to the welcome.blade.php let's import css over here all right i'm going to call this script and let's paste uh, this script just uh, blue the app.js okay let's save this and let's get back to the browser once again and refresh this all right here we have already set up the bootstrap and if you click on this here you can see all the CSS that bootstrap has provided this is the way we can implement bootstrap using the CDN okay now let's go for the second one all right guys we have already implemented the bootstrap by using the bootstrap CDN and we have another way to implement the bootstrap 5 by downloading its file and uploading it in public folder so let's do for that first of all let's comment this CDN code Let's go to the browser and refresh it. Here in the screen you can see our design is not looking good because we have just commented that CDN of bootstrap, right? So again, let's get back to the getbootstrap.com and here in the download section, you can see one compile CSS and JS. You can download this file. All right, it's already downloaded and you can open this. Let's just extract it. Alright, it is already extracted. Now click on this. And here we have two files. You can copy these two. CSS and JS. Now let's get back to the project. And let's go inside the public. Inside the public, we already have JS and CSS. So instead of copying this, just copy the file. Okay, now copy this file. Bootstrap.min.css and let's get back to our project. Here inside the public, we have CSS and just paste it here. Alright, and also you need to copy the JS file. Here you need to copy these two files bootstrap.js and bootstrap.min.js. Let's copy this and paste it inside the JS. Alright, if you go CSS here for the CSS also, I think I'm missing one file. It's bootstrap.css and copy the shadow and paste it here. Now we need to import this file in our welcome.blade.php. Alright, let's import the CSS first. Alright, we have already imported the bootstrap main.css. Now also import the JS file. And let's get back to our project and refresh this project. Here you can see our design looks good. Now we have bootstrap available here. If you click on this container, here you can see 
all the CSS are available. So this is the second way we can implement bootstrap in Laravel 8. Now we go for the third one that is by using the Laravel mix. Alright guys we have already implemented the bootstrap by using the CDN and also by downloading its file and uploading it into public folder and now just comment this file. Now we are going to implement the bootstrap by using the Laravel mix. For that let's open the git bash. Let's go inside the project. First of all we need to run the command npm install. Alright guys, npm was already installed in my system that's why it, it is installing so fast. Okay, now let's install the bootstrap for that. npm install bootstrap, it will install the latest version of bootstrap. Alright, bootstrap is installed now. If you go to the package.json in our project, Here you can see we have the bootstrap 5.1.1 is installed. You need to install the popper JS. So let's install that as well. For that, npm install at popper JS slash core. You can give shape hyphen dev. Alright, this is also installed. If you see on the dev dependency, you can see this is also installed. Alright, now we need to run npm run dev. Okay, it is already installed. So let's go back and refresh this okay still it is not implemented because I forgot to import the bootstrap so let's go to the project and inside the resources let's create one SAS file SSS and here we need to create one file app.scss here we need to import the bootstrap Also, we need to import this file in bootstrap.js. Just blow this, you can import. Import bootstrap. Sorry, just. It is just bootstrap. Alright, just save this. And again, let's run npm dev. Okay, it is successfully compiled. Now let's back and refresh this page. Okay, bootstrap is not implemented yet, so let's get back. And here we have already imported. Mm, okay. Uh, let's see this after the compile it should be here okay it is not here nothing it's compiled so we need to import this in webpack.mix.js here we can use shells okay and resources shells after sgss And it should be compiled inside the 
public slash CSS. All right. Now we can remove this and here we have implemented says so let's rename it says all right now let's run once again okay let's go back to the app dots CSS inside the public okay here are the compiled uh, bootstrap file now let's get back and let's refresh this okay it's still the same I think we forgot to import it here we need to import a link relation will be style sheet and uh, it's hurry of it should be in the public asset css and app dot css save this and let's refresh this one single okay yeah now we have already implemented the bootstrap using the laravel mix if you have any confusion regarding this you can comment on the comment section below thank you for watching till now don't forget to subscribe my channel for the upcoming videos thank you Thank you.